Hey guys, welcome back guys to Logic Set 3. Welcome back to my CSO and wait to that guys to so, know how to use human and team of the mod. Well anyway, we are wasting more time and drinking. Anyway, as you guys all know, in zombie mode what the human need to do is hide, take cover, stick together, or kill the zombie. Now in this video I got teach you guys all that and not just that I got teach you guys lesson and most likely lesson will be more than teaching you guys how to those parts because those parts is pretty obvious and you guys already know how to do it. So yeah. Anyway let's start with hiding. Most of people hide on the place where it's very secure, very safe and very hard for zombies to advance to your guys and surround your guys. Because if your guys hide from zombie, you need to do two things. One, make sure zombie can't see you. Two, make sure zombie can oh well your guys easily. And yeah, most of your guys will always go to the which is what we always say that. Well, uh, I see why. Because normally that is uh, not it's the same thing. Well anyway, many people will hide on many different places just to get some place to hide and make the zombie choose their choice to go and kill your guys. And most of the time they'll kill the most easiest one which is open area or places where they can overwhelm your guys easily. Well, yeah, so that's why everyone likes to go in the wet station system. But the weather station is not always the most safety of place because zombies can do bugs to get in there if they know how to do it. Well, if you guys want to know how to do it, you can just check out my like the new video. Well, anyway, so yeah. Now I did tell you guys those safety places and what y'all can do with the safety places already. So now I just gotta tell you guys wh what is this tree skill right on top of me. Anyway, the first one is called Spring, but I more like the correct speed boot. Well, that is I give him the name, but if the real name is called Spring, well, it's almost the same, but whatever. Anyway, what you can do is you press number 5, and then he can let you run really, really fast. In order to get this start thing, you need to buy Psycho Zombie to get the skill. And once once you got spring plus number five, and you can run very really fast. It's very good to escape when you think all well, which is a very good skill, including like try to run away the last thirty seconds. But there's a bad news: if you run like ten seconds and then you slow down another three seconds, so you need to make your choice properly. And make sure when you run that time, run to a safety place and take cover. Because when you run all 10 seconds, you slow down and then that time you need to protect yourself. Or else you can never run away. So yeah, kind of true skill and kind of bad choice if you use it sometimes. But most of the choice they use is a very good choice. And wait, next skill which is called Deadly Shot. And where Deadly Shot is everyone's most favorite skill in zombie mode. Trust me guys. Well anyway, what Deadly Shot can do, it was, well, the other use Deadly Shot, you need to click number 6. And then you need to buy like, Slammer Zombie, or you can just buy Daemon Zombie to get it. So yeah. Anyway, once you get it, and then you plus number 6, it let you keep firing at the hit. Actually not like keep firing the hit, but each shot it was like the hit damage. And not just that, if you fire the hit, it make two times the damage. And even though if you shot the hand, the leg or the body, it counted as hit shot, which is an instant kill. Well, except he still got some life, so why can't then just kill it all over? And then at that he won't get the hit shot. So yeah. Well, anyway, how long it will last? It will last for like uh, 3 seconds. So you only have 3 seconds to take down a zombie or die. So yeah. So remember, don't waste that star skill. It's very useful. Including kill some zombies that are freaking hard to kill. Such as uh, 
day more than Ganymede because they can do both. Well, anyway, the next skill which is called Bloody Blade. Anyway, to get this skill, you need to buy Banshee or buy Ganymede to get it. And when you get to the skill, what you can do, it will flash from the server and you can activate it. And not just that, if you use your sword or knife or some damn big sword that you have, like a partner or that, and then poke your opponent, and then your opponent get huge damage. But that skill only works for sword. If not sword weapon, it don't work at all. So yeah. Anyway, just like that leash shot, it only lasts for like 3 seconds. So use it wisely, don't waste it. Anyway, next thing I want to talk about is what the thing you can buy to help you and zombie in zombie mode. Well, not all the things can help you, but I think that most of them can. Some of them cannot. Some of them, like, some stuff where you can use only because then the people got their own one, while zombie the hero got their own, and zombie original has nothing at all. Well, anyway, now let's talk about those dust things. Anyway, the first one is Zombie ASAT Strong Life Power. Anyway, to get that, what the human would get, it was more animation. It was just plus 1.5 more bullet. Well, for the zombie, they increase their life, like increase 1000, and from their armor, which increase 100. Which is also useful too, but we're not here to talk about zombie. Anyway, you have those things. What will happen if when you become human, you have more animation. So that you can fire the zombie even longer. Well, don't worry about going outside and get some supply box, you know. Anyway, next one is called Zombie B set Extra Team. Anyway, what that one will do for human, it was to let you have a flying boot. And what the flying boot do is that you jump higher, as high as zombie. And for zombie, well, more HP for your guys. So yeah, it's also a good news, but I would more like the flying boot. Anyway, next one is called Battle Weaponum. Anyway, what it can do is, if you are human, what it can do is, it can give extra range. And the extra range is just right now that, yeah, it not just will turn to great, it will turn to purple. But I didn't record that thing before, so I can show it to you guys. Well, anyway, for zombie, well, they come back even earlier, which is also a good news for zombie. But I think for we are not here to talk about zombie. Anyway, next one it was called Zombie T set and Bomb Specialist. Anyway, for that, if you have that, what will happen is when you become human, you have two grenades. And if you are a zombie, you have a zombie grenade. So, yeah. Anyway, with that, if you turn to human, you can throw two grenades, which is a good news to go and blow out your zombie armor. And not just that, if you hit your first grenade me, your second grenade maybe can hit the zombie and destroy the armor and hurt them life. So yeah. Anyway, next time I talk about supply box. What supply box do? It was he can give you a lot of good weapons, such as the double MP7A1. Anyway, with that weapon, you can not just escape from zombie very well. But you also can kill zombie, but most of the time it was not bad so that the zombie he was very weak. Anyway, another weapon you can get some supply box which is called the AK-47 AR. Anyway, this uh, weapon is very useful in zombie mod. Trust me guys. Anyway, with this weapon you can kill a lot of zombies. Alright, uh, so well then not to escape the zombie. Anyway, next one it was poison gun. What poison gun do it was he can kill zombie and without worry the zombie can kill him easily. And he not just that, he can create blur and uh, he can create 
Sometimes they mon and enemy if they use their bug, you also can kill them with poison gun, which is very very rare. But trust me, if I believe Sleep will successfully kill them with those bugs. So yeah. Anyway, then the final last one which is called a double Nata knife. With that it's like two times higher damage than a Nata, but as slow as a Nata. I can't tell if it was the same slow, but I'm pretty sure they are the same slow. Nothing changed. So yeah, now it's time for telling your guys some lesson. Which is, your guys really should know, even you are a pro player. So yeah, let's begin. Anyway, the first lesson is what I most like to every day tell to pro player or not so pro player that try to act as pro. Anyway, which is, Never use knife against zombie, including in front of them. Use that at teamwork, or uh, you believe you can slow down zombie way well. If your guys like two of your guys, trust me, never use nata. Use nata or other type of melee weapon in a lot of people time. Trust me, run one wrong mistake, everyone panic. Which is I really hate about it. Anyway, another thing which is never, ever, ye let a zombie get near to the dark. If he can go until halfway near you, it's over. Except your weapon can push the zombie really, really far away, which not many of your guys have. Except you're really that rich pro. So yeah, I'm not gonna tell you guys what that weapon can counter that, but there's a way to counter it, which is just kill the zombie, but it will be very hard and most of your guys will hide in the reservation shifter which will make your guys a lot of chance to success. So yeah. And the next thing I wanna tell you guys is for watch out for zombie tricks. Anyway, zombie can do a lot of style tricks, especially from spammers. And if spammers do the trick you can get the new watch out. So you can watch out for all zombies around you Make sure that they won't trick you, and then you are really good at watch out for zombie. So yeah. Anyway, next thing it was never been well by zombie. If you've been cornered by zombie, or been surrounded, or if you've been well by zombie, you are pretty much screwed, and there's not even far away to get out. The perfect weapon to get out from zombie, it was shotgun and machine gun. If you use another weapon and successfully escape, it was a good news for you, and luck too. So yeah, just never been surrounded or you are dead. Anyway, always wash your back. That's the most important thing, because if you never wash your back, the zombie will kill you from behind. So yeah. Anyway, so just always watch your back if you want to be a pro player in zombie mode. Anyway, always hide in good place, so good that zombie will we have a very hard time to get you. But if I, your guys, I most of the time don't do that, because it's waste time and if someone block you, it's all over. So yeah, and trust me, always got people block you if they piss off. So yeah. Anyway, always throw the zombie with teamwork. You cannot shut out zombie if it's in big problem. So, always think what more properly about the zombie. One wrong mistake, everyone panic, and everyone just run away. Now just melee against zombie. And another one which is always use weapon that can slow down zombie very useful, such as the machine gun, a soft machine gun, and shotgun. These three weapon is the most good weapon to slow down zombie. Never use sniper in open area, because sniper is not built for open area, especially to kill zombie. Well, if your guys in not open area, sniper be very useful for now, that is. So yeah, and always watch out for zombie bug, because if zombie do bug, and then you are in big trouble. But not all map have bug for the zombie to do, not all. And don't be too watch out, sometimes if you do watch out for those bugs, it can actually let you fail to when notice other zombies around you. So yeah, just be careful. 
And why play as human? If your guys want to kill humans so badly, if your guys turn to zombie, then always stick one another. That's right. If your guys stick one another, and then if, if you turn to zombie, and then you can quickly just kill your partner with around you, and then make zombie faster to win. But there's a bad news. If your partner becomes zombie, you're in big trouble. Anyway, always stay far from the smoke that what Psycho Zombie release, and so does Heavy Zombie, his trap, and many more else. So yeah, just watch out for them, and never stay close for them. Especially never let zombies stay near to the smoke, because whoever go into the smoke, they are harder to die. So yeah, just watch out. Especially Slammer Graveyard. And never, ever, leave your team alone. Because if you leave your team alone, two things will happen. First, your team will become into zombie. And second, your team will want revenge. And if they want revenge, they'll kill you so badly. So does your team that still is a human. So you don't want that happen, right? So yeah, if your guys didn't abandon him alone, he most likely won't be so mad at your guys. But there's a risk, which is you need to stay with him until both of your guys escape. But there's a good news too, you can slow down zombie from advance. But if your guys been surrounded and then you are guarantee you can escape, then you got two choice. One of your guys sacrifice or the other run. But if your guys, two of your guys don't want to sacrifice one another, then, well, just die to together. And when it's your guy the kind to hero, never too happy about it. Always watch out. Because all zombies, especially those normal ones, like to kill hero. So just Another watch out for everything you want to do in your life. And if your guy saw a zombie want to actually help your, hu your human even though he's a stranger, don't kill him. Try to communicate with him if he let you a chance. But always watch out. And it can if you playing with your friend, call your friend to look after him and make sure you don't do something stupid. If you do something stupid, like try to kill your guy, tell a friend to take fire at him and quickly cancel your communication and quickly kill the crap out of him. So yeah. And anyway, so you guys can teamwork with zombie, there's a good news but there is also a traitor way. So if your guys are zombie and you want teamwork with human, don't make things too suspicious. If your guys make things too suspicious, the zombie player or other weird player will actually report you and there was a little bit chance you will get banned. And I mean little bit chance means if the GM really want to ban someone like you, you really will be banned. But if no one report you, eh, nothing bad will happen. But if a lot of people report you, you ain't be trouble. So yeah. So yeah, playing as human, always get to good team and always know what your environment needs to protect yourself. And always use good weapon to protect yourself from zombie. If you playing with a bunch of friends, make sure your weapon is different and can use it in water situation. So yeah. Anyway, that's all there, guys. If you guys like this video, leave a like and want to subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.